All right, uh, 2 Corinthians 13, 5 through 9. 2 Corinthians 13, 5 through 9. Damien titled this something. I titled it Developing Maturity. Okay? I called it Admitting Your Faults. I called it Developing Maturity. So um, we're, we're going to do, we're going to judge this. So I want you to put out there which, which, which title did you like? Developing Maturity or Your Faults? So I can't see you guys, Janice said. Well, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know because the the everything's working good. Okay. Yes. Comment, share, tag, put the stars out there. Let's start here. Second Corinthians thirteen verse five it says, "Examine yourselves to see if your faith is genuine. Test yourselves. Mm -hmm. Surely you know that Jesus Christ is among you. If not, you have failed the test of genuine faith." Yeah. So as you test yourselves, I hope that you will recognize that we have not failed the test of the apostolic authority. Verse seven, but we pray to God that you will not do what is wrong by refusing our correction. I hope that we won't need to demonstrate our authority when we arrive. Oof. Do the right thing before we come, even if it makes, even if that makes it look like we have failed to demonstrate our authority. For we cannot oppose the truth, but must always stand for the truth. And we are glad to seem weak if it helps show that you are actually strong. Mm -hmm. And we pray that you will become mature. Father, we love you and praise you. Yes. Thank you for your word this morning. Um, give us the insight that we need in it. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Amen. Okay. Is my faith genuine. The first thing he starts off with is examine yourself. You know, I love this. I love setting aside and stopping for a moment. And say, okay, I'm going to examine myself and see where am I today? What do I need to change? Or do I need to just keep yes, doing what I'm I doing? That. Um, I had a talk with my nutritionist and my, my uh, guy that's uh, training me and my working out me and David. And I said, you know, we're, we've kind of hit a plateau here. He said, you're doing good. Don't change anything. See, what we want to do is we want to immediately change something because mm -hmm. we're not seeing a result. And then he just threw the word back on me. He said, patience. And I was like, oh, my Lord Jesus. And then he said, look, patience is here with you. And then and, and he said, you're learning techniques on your, your eating and, and all this stuff. You're killing the flesh. And I just started weeping there. And I said, my God, look, Lord, I'm using your word to help me be more healthy and, and yeah, I am killing my flesh right now. Yeah. So is my faith genuine? So as I look at this and I see it say, okay, is my faith genuine? Then I have to test myself. How do I test myself? Mm -hmm. Paul gives us the how. Test yourselves. Here we go. Surely you know that Jesus Christ is among you. If not, you have failed the test of genuine faith. Okay. So what is the test? Is Christ with me? Am I walking in God? Am I declaring? Am yes. I feeling his presence? Well, 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 sometimes we don't feel it. Okay, I understand that. But even though you may not feel the Lord in a moment, you know that he's with you. Yes, you do. So, so if I go and test myself and, and show or do a self-examination right here, then I find out, okay... I don't see God with me. Mm -hmm. And then, then you've got to say, why? Why is he not yeah. with me? And I'm testing myself. Surely you know that if Christ is among you, then you have not failed. But if he's not among you, then you failed the test of genuine faith. That's right. See, we try to measure ourselves based upon um, human knowledge of what we would think that a good measurement system would be. I can't measure myself by another evangelist. I can't measure myself That's by right. Davy. I can't measure myself by a pastor. I can't measure myself by another man. I have to measure myself by the word of God and by the spirit of the living God that is with me in that moment. Do I feel the presence of God? Do I know I'm walking with God? Do I know that he is with me? And then if I can pass that test, then I know. If not, I've yes. got to repent. Mm -hmm. Amen. You and I both know when we're walking with God and when we're walking alone. That's so good. And if I find myself alone, that means that I have failed in the area of my faith and my faith is not genuine. My faith has become robotic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You know, some sometimes we, we take our faith and we shift it from a genuine faith to a robotic faith, meaning this. I'm going through the motions. And we get ourselves caught in mm-hmm. going through the motions thinking that what we are doing is being faithful to God, but there's no faith attached to it. it because has, it's just going through the motions. It's, it's like motion. breathing. It's like brushing your teeth. I mean, you don't have to consciously think about brushing your teeth. Mm-mm. You just brush your teeth. Yeah. Well, so, I hope so. Well, yeah, we hope so. But there's people that do this every single day because it becomes routine. Everything, yeah, it becomes routine. Mm-hmm. Now, listen to me. You may get up in the morning and say, I'm going to pray and read my word. Did you do it out of genuine faith or did you do it out of routine? Come on. You see, even that, mm-hmm. even your prayer life, your your the way that you communicate with the Lord can become a routine of where you're just saying the same thing when you wake up in yeah, the morning yeah, and say, yeah. Lord, I love you. I just want to tell you this morning, I love you. Yes. Here we go. That means there needs to be a time of repentance before correction comes. Mm-hmm. Because if we will repent, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins yeah. and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Okay. If we will repent now, then we won't have to receive correction in another manner later down the road. Because Paul said this, he goes, if you'll do this now, I won't have to come and correct you. Wow. I hope that you recognize that we've not failed the test of the apostolic authority, meaning they haven't failed this. He said, but if you will do this and bring correction upon yourself right now, when we show up, we might look weak because we didn't have to correct you, but that's Mm -hmm. okay because we would rather you be in a process of doing this and watch this, becoming mature. Mm -hmm. Maturity recognizes its faults. Yeah. I love this. I love y'all. If y'all haven't shared this and tagged this to someone... You got to do that. Write that down. Maturity recognizes Recognizes its its faults. Okay. Maturity takes the proper action in order to correct itself. Come on. I guess I'm giving you points. I would write these down. Maturity recognizes its faults. Maturity takes the proper action in correcting itself. Maturity will flee Past attractions and desires. That's so good. My daughter went to my favorite donut shop and bought a dozen donuts for her business. Oh my God, stop, stop. I don't even know what you're going to say. I saw that dozen donuts sitting out. It didn't even look, t- it didn't even look tempting Did to you me. open the box? No. Me neither. I never even opened the box. <laughs> never opened the box and never looked in there. <laughs> Okay, you know what that means? Oh my God. Our attractions and our desires are changing. That's a victory. It's a victory. We want the good stuff. So now I've got to... Same do... things in the kingdom. So now i got to do that with the Coke Zero. Yeah, you do. Might as well just throw them away. I can't throw them away. Ah! Because I, that's just wrong. I can't, gonna... throw, I can't throw away my sin stuff. Stop. I can't throw away all my stuff that's sin. Faith still drinks the so Coke Zero. Oh, I'm, gonna, now, I'm not going to waste gonna, the money. Let's just leave it for somebody else. Okay, whatever. I'll save it for the partners that are coming in for the partners. Maturity <laughs> seeks after the Father first. Hello? Come on. Now watch this. What do you mean by seeking? Okay, yeah, we seek first the kingdom. No, 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 no. Maturity seeks the Father's response first. Come on. Area of concern. I got an area of concern. Do I go to the Father before I run to man? Mm-hmm. Do I go pray and ask the Father to give me instruction or am I immediately calling somebody, getting on the phone and trying to find man's wisdom instead of going directly to the Father himself? I feel the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I don't Maturity, so are you ready? Here we go. Maturity asks the hard questions. Come on. Maturity wants to go to authorities and leadership and says... Show me what am I doing wrong? Yeah. Help me in this mm-hmm. area. Show me. Lord, what am I doing wrong? Mm-hmm. Help me here. And here's the last thing. Self-evaluations mm-hmm. will help prove your genuine faith in Christ Jesus. Wow. Amen? Amen. We need to develop maturity 
We need to be mature, developed believers. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God, I hope you got this this morning. Man, this blew me up when I read this. A few days ago at work. What did she just say? Lindsay, yes, remember. Here, the, right here, Chris. Um, a few days ago at work, I already wasn't feeling well and muddling through and I ended up snapping at a co-worker and walked off within moments the Holy Ghost told me to go apologize I did so in obedience because the flesh definitely wouldn't have apologized to the co-worker wow come on amen then somebody else wrote something right after that man we just li listen this right is here. key yeah Lindsay yes remember that you gave a while you gave a word a while back compare it to checking your gun Come on. Amen. That's right. You're absolutely right, Lindsay. Thank amen you. Amen and amen. Thank you. I love it. You guys bring stuff to us. I, I, I speak so much that I sometimes even forget some of the stuff that I have said, which is Abby, fine. Abby, amen. So I received that. Um, Guys, thank you. Yes. For receiving it. Let's pray the receiving. Father, we received this word. Lord, as Paul spoke to the church, said, examine yourself, test yourself to know mm -hmm. that you're walking in genuine faith. Father, we do that today. Yes. See, I feel you right now, Holy Ghost. I yes. know it. I know that you're with me. I've spent time with you. I've heard from you. Lord, I pray that those out there today that find themselves sitting alone, Lord God, that oh, they can God. immediately call upon you and your word says that you will show up. Yes. But Lord God, you're looking for repentive hearts, mm. not just sorrowful hearts. Yes. So God, we declare that we have repentive hearts to receive your word with gladness and joy. Yes. To be guided and directed by your purpose and your plan. Amen. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank right. you guys for all the stars. If you're just jumping on and watching the replay, hit those stars. Um, go to our website. The link is provided, chrisbrooksministries.com forward slash partner. And sow a seed into this assignment. And pray and ask the Holy Spirit if you should become a partner with us and link arms with us as we are seeing lives affected, changed, and transformed, equipped, and encouraged all across the globe. What we do is so effective when our partners link arms with us. Your prayer support, your financial support is making a difference all across the kingdom. Everywhere we go, we're getting testimony after testimony after testimony. I mean, just you, saw the testimony you can see them morning. coming in even this morning. Um, we get them in our inbox all day <laughs> long. Um, we are so thankful. Amen. And we've gotten a, a recent uh, request and, and I just want to throw this out because we haven't said it in a while. But if you are in an area where you cannot be a part of a local church and you want the principle and the promise of tithe and you are being discipled and this voice, this house, this ministry. Chris Brooks Ministries. Is being that voice and that source into you and that covering. We have an option on our website also under the, if you go into the one-time donate option, um, there's a drop down for tithe. So you can tithe their inboxes let us know we want to agree with you over that um, until you're able to find a home church um, as well as to partner with this assignment means that you are going to hit the option for reoccurring monthly so that way we know that we can count on you and that you're going to be there with us and there's all sorts of partner perks and things going on on the website as well so go check it out all right we love you be blessed remember we'll be on tomorrow if it doesn't challenge you it won't change you and y'all have a great day bye